Hello and welcome to this new episode of Liberalist Brain Lab. This is Dr. Shweta Aratya, neurologist and your brain coach. Today, I'm going to bring you some very interesting fact if you are a parent. If you have been raising kids, it is not important to talk to your child. You just heard it right. You don't need to talk to your child. You need to have a conversation. You don't need to have a one-way conversation. You need to have a dialogue with your children. A very latest study has been found that if you are talking and conversating with your child between the ages of 4 and 6 the cognitive scientists at MIT this back and forth conversation was found to influence deeply their brain structure the language skills which gets developed between the ages of 4 and 6 allows their brain to have better memory to have better focus better attention and also improve as human beings later in the life now what they studied was that if they are coming from the children are coming from families where you can afford to have a lot of vocabulary your parents are educated lots of conversations are going on in the house L- millions and millions of words and conversations are happening then their brain growth is also proportionately better a lot of parents think that you know when they are talking in the house the child is not listening please remember this is a critical window of growth opportunity for your child your child is listening to everything your child's brain performances or the brain wiring is at a rapid speed you will not believe that 7000 brain connections are forming a second and hence every single time conversation with a child is firing the brain in fact mri brain scans were done and a lot of other tests were conducted an entire range of measures were taken to see whether the boosting of the child's brain is getting done or not and in fact it was found both the lead authors from mit and harvard uh, who read uh, who wrote this paper said that the important thing is not just to talk to your child but to talk with your child so you don't have to talk to but talk with your child let the child answer you back let there be a wonderful conversation between the children it is not just dumping all the language that you know into the child's brain but having that conversation that intellectual back and forth is leading to rewire getting the uh, children to read a story getting them to talk back in terms of what they are feeling allowing that extra time waiting for their response serve and return this is the principle with which the brain works so once you do that you already rewire the brain's development now uh, there was also in the study which was found that children from very wealthy families actually hear 30 million more words by the age of 3 than the poor families which means this 30 million word gap fundamentally they will put the children on a different trajectory altogether their experience experiences later on will be multiplied by the words that they have heard now you may be wondering that what if the child belongs to a poor family what if there is no vocabulary and this disturbs me in this day and age despite being born in a wealthy family despite having professional parents how much time are you giving to your child the children are raised by nannies so we don't want nanny brains it's okay to have a nanny to take care of the regular daily tasks but how many nannies are equipped with a vocabulary which will be equivalent to a professional so you have to as a parent keep in mind that you need to spend certain hours there is no magical number but if i were to get you to the best of the brains push capacities i would say spend a minimum of 10 effective conversation hours in the entire week with your child divide your time into multiple ways it should be a back and forth conversation with the child do you want to manifest a dream life a dream car amazing relationship do you want to manifest your profession where you are at the top well people say manifestation is manipulation manifestation is not possible believe me from the point of view of neuroscience it is just reframing the mindset from the poverty mindset to the abundance mindset there are steps to it there is a way in which you can do that and this particular neuroscience manifestation course is one of the popular courses which we are doing right now and i will bring you some fascinating facts and if you do practice consistently over a period of time i guarantee manifestation is not just possible it is very easily doable so join me on this course of the neuromanifestation module where i meet all of you 
and together we live a beautiful, amazing, happy and abundant life. Now the the beautiful thing is that family conversation also depends on the environment is there a happy environment around is there a healthy environment around when the child is listening to all the family conversations because that also the mood the emotions that is around it what is the child absorbing from the environment also matters to the development of the child now what has been shown also singing to the child singing back the child is mirroring you when you are singing because the children have the best of mirror neurons the moment you do something the children will very quickly copy they are very good at mimicking what an adult is doing and the nature's mechanism is they develop the brains by doing this mimicking and mirroring and what has also been shown is that you know cuddling so sitting with a child cuddling a child talking to a child and speaking to a child returning serving and returning is much more beneficial than any high tech technology or toy that you can give to the child now i get pained by when the children are offered the digital devices and then they are offered all the ipads and then you know i was just in a, a a flight recently and the child was not even crying and then the mother just handed over the piece of phone or digital this just for the engagement we are creating an idling rhythm in the brain of the child there is no connection which is happening you are actually stalling the brain growth by doing this exercise and activity and hence if you want your babies you want your children to flower to grow particularly between the age of 0 and 7 please have dialogues in the family have the family time together when you are sitting on a dinner when you are together playing when you are crafting certain ideas when you are doing certain activities and exercises make sure that each of the, each of you present in the house is talking to the child listen back mirror all the right emotions because every single minute spent with the child is building that brain putting all the brain banks and cognitive currencies for a wonderful brain growth so have an amazing life ahead i am dr shweta aratya your brain coach we keep talking about simple but effective and powerful techniques which will translate into health wealth and happiness